Hi, I'm Stephanie from Red Between Yarns, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these cute little octopi. So this is an octopus pattern. It takes me about 26 minutes to make one of these octopi. It is a crochet pattern. You crochet in the round. You can use hand spun yarn, or you can use any yarn you want. The yarn that we're going to be using today is the Knit Picks We Crochet Wool of the Andes Worsted Weight yarn. It is in Wonderland Heather color. So we typically pull from the inside, the string from the inside when we're crocheting. We use 100% cotton, organic cotton stuffing for this. We have our yarn bowl with us. This is a yarn bowl we have had for seven years at least. It has been um, dropped, beat up, it's from Knit Picks, and we absolutely love this yarn bowl. It is durable, and it takes whatever we throw at it, whether it wants to take it or not. So we have a stitch marker, our Westcott Titanium scissors. This is the Furls Crochet H hook. It is a 5 millimeter hook. And this is the Sagittarius. It's actually a really cool hook. You can see there's a little bit of glitter right here. There's actually some really faint lighter glitter throughout this hook. I really like this hook. These are my preferred hooks. If you are really getting into crochet and you really have, are concerned about your hands, your wrists, you're concerned about time, perhaps it's something where you really want to produce a lot of things, this is a professional hook. I would definitely recommend switching to these hooks. They do save time. They have just, they're simply designed better than the cheaper crochet hooks. And when you're producing a lot of things and when you're crocheting a lot, it does matter. The last thing we have are safety eyes. And so these little safety eyes, they come with different color irises. And so you just slip the irises on the eye and very faintly you can see on the outside the color of the iris. All the links will be provided in the description. If there's things that you need, just click on the links and you'll be able to get them. We're going to start with our yarn, tie a slip knot. So this is a pattern that we wrote. We found a lot of different octopus patterns, but we really want a pattern that is focused on quick production and ease of being able to produce a lot. So we produce for craft shows, we produce for sales. And so this is something that this pattern, it can be modified for any yarn and it can be used quickly. Let's see if my memory is gonna be able to work because I also like patterns that I can memorize and I don't have to actually refer to a piece of paper. So if I'm sitting in a car or if I'm watching TV, I can simply do the pattern. Ready? So the slip knot is on the hook. And what I do is I chain one and in that back loop of that first chain, I stick my crochet hook through it. And that's where I single crochet the first single crochet. So in this first round, we are going to single crochet six into this hole. If you want, you can use the magic, uh, the magic ring method. That's okay. What I do is I pull that little piece over and I'm going to crochet over it for the rest of the stitches. So this is two, three, four, five, and we're kind of near the end and I'm just going to go over, I'm going to take this little string that's left, I'm going to hold it over for that number six. So if you, oops, if you want to use your uh, stitch marker, oh my goodness, get it together here. We're getting really wild with this crochet now. Fold it over and six. If you want to use a stitch marker for the beginning of the round, you certainly can. So we have six in that center loop. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. This stitch, this first stitch, it can be a little bit tight. Sometimes I'll use the inner part of the crochet hook and just kind of loosen it up a little bit.
So in that first stitch, you're going to add two single crochets. One, and we'll use our stitch marker now. And add our second stitch in there. Two. So this second round, we're going to put two single crochets in each of those stitches. That's going to increase it to 12. Moving on to the next stitch, one, two. Next stitch, this is your third stitch. You're going to add two single crochets in that stitch, one, two. Fourth stitch, two single crochets. One, two. And stitch five, two single crochets, one, two. Stitch six, last one, two single crochets, one, two. You've ended up with six. Now, do you remember that little piece of extra hanging yarn? See, if I just pull it, it completely closes up that center hole. So that's why it's just uh, something I do. I don't like a hole in the top of my octopus's head. Next, so this is going to be round three. In that first stitch, we're going to put in two single crochets. Let's put that stitch marker back in that first stitch. Now the next stitch, one single crochet. And repeat that all the way through, you're going to end up with 18 stitches. So two single crochet. Next stitch, one single crochet. Two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two, one, two. One, you should end up with 18 stitches. So let's count and see if I did this correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen stitches in the center. So that was round three. Round four, we are going to do two single crochets in one, and then a single and a single. This is going to increase it to 24. This is our first stitch. We're going to add that increase, two single crochets. Put that stitch marker back in that first. And then one and one. Repeat that the whole way. Two single crochets. We call that an increase. And then next stitch, one. The stitch after that, one. Right here, two single crochets. One and one. Two single crochets, one. And then a single crochet in the next stitch and a single crochet in the stitch after that. Repeat that same thing. Increased, so two single crochets in the next stitch. A single crochet in the stitch after that. A single crochet in the stitch after that. Now we are going to have two single crochets in this next stitch. And then one single crochet in the stitch after that, and one single crochet in the stitch after that. You have four rounds. This is actually the top 
of the head of your octopus. Rounds five through eight, you are just going to put one single crochet in each of the stitches around. So there's 24 stitches. That means we're going to put in 24 single crochets in this round. This is round five. Twenty-four. That's the end of round five. We're going to do that again for round six, seven, and eight. So do that three more times. We completed all eight rounds. This is what the top of the octopus head looks like so far. What we're going to need to do is we are going to need to crochet in the front loop of the next 24 stitches. So when you look at your crochet, it makes a bit of a V the stitch does when you look at it from the top. Right here, this first line, this first piece of thread is the front loop. Over there, this one over here, is the back loop. So for round nine, we're only using the front loop. So only hook your hook through that front loop. Don't hook it all the way through the stitch, just the front loop. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to hook it through, so single crochet one, and then chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because it's, it's an octopus, we'll stop at eight. So on that second chain from the hook, you have the loop on the hook, you have the first loop after the hook, that's the first chain from the hook, and this right here is the second chain from the hook. In that second chain from the hook, we are going to put in two single crochets. Now we move on to the next chain, we're going to put in two single crochets. You can see how I'm putting them in. I'm putting them in that little back part of the chain. One, two. Keep doing that. Move on to the next piece, next chain. Put in two single crochets. You're going to notice that the tentacle is starting to twist. Next chain, two single crochets. Next chain, two single crochets, and the last final chain before your single crochet that you put in. When you started that, put in two single crochets. So when you're done with that, you need to join the tentacle and go to the next stitch, front loop only, join that tentacle back down with a single crochet. Move on to the next stitch, front loop only, single crochet one. Next stitch, front loop only, single crochet one, and start another tentacle, chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are going to repeat that process. So the second chain in, you're going to put in two single crochets.
and keep going. We put a total of 14 crochets, single crochets in there. We made it down to that first single crochet we put in. Move on to your next front loop only. Attach that tentacle with a single crochet. Now front loop only of the next stitch, single crochet. Front loop only of the next stitch. Single crochet one and start a new tentacle. So you're gonna chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, same process. Not the first loop, but the second loop from the hook. Put in two single crochets and do that all the way down the chain until you get back to that first single crochet. There we are. Move on to the next stitch. You're going to join that tentacle down. Move on to the next stitch, single crochet. Next stitch, single crochet, and start another tentacle. Chain eight. Keep repeating the process. We have finished all eight tentacles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This is what it looks like. You can see that because we didn't crochet in those back loops, you can very clearly see the crochet, uh, single, the part of the single crochet that we didn't crochet in, in the stitches. So that's what we're gonna use to crochet in next. What we're gonna do is we are going to decrease, and then single crochet two. So continuing on for round nine, we're gonna get in that back loop of that first stitch, back loop of the next stitch. I like to do decreases like this. That makes more of an invisible decrease. Now, next loop, I'm going to single crochet one, single crochet two. I'll show you that decrease that I like to do on these again. You can do any other decrease you want. You don't have to do it this way. And then instead of making it a full crochet, I slip stitch them off. I'll show you that again here. We'll move a little bit closer so that 
decrease goes like this. And crochet one, crochet two. Do that all the way around until you get to the beginning again. And you, of course, can use your stitch marker to do this. All right, we are approaching the end. So we made it all the way to the end. The inside of your octopus looks like this now. You can clearly see, see both sides of the stitches. It's not just one of the loops. So if you want to, you can begin stuffing your octopus. You can begin putting your eyes in now. I don't. So this is going to be round 10 coming up next. And for round 10, we get in that first stitch. And we're going to do decrease single crochet one. And this is going to be all the way around. So for this, I'll use my stitch marker. That first stitch. We're going to do that decrease. Sometimes they can get a bit tight doing decreases like that. Single crochet one. Decrease. Single crochet one. Another decrease. Followed by another single crochet. Once you get to the end of this round, I would say try not to wait any longer to put in the stuffing and put in the eyes because the longer that you wait at this point, the smaller the space you have to work in, and then it does become a bit difficult. So that last stitch before your stitch marker is a single crochet. So this is how the opening looks now. You can see it's something that's starting to move in. Let's get a little bit of stuffing in there, and then we're gonna put in some eyes. So this is the 100% organic cotton stuffing. That's what we prefer. It's 100% wool yarn, 100% organic cotton stuffing, natural fibers. So it's not fully stuffed, and that's okay. We're gonna put the eyes in right here. So the advice I have when you're putting in your eyes just take a look. I prefer if you look at the end edge of this tentacle, and if you find the end edge of the other tentacle, keep the eyes in the same line. And then we need to put the inner plastic safety pieces in those. So we'll snap this on. And even though they're safety eyes, they're definitely um, they're definitely any toy that you make is still worth still worth having an adult always around to monitor. So here's this here's how it's gonna look. Well purple eyes. We're gonna stuff the rest of this octopus. You can stuff your octopus as firmly or as squishy as you want. I think little bit more. I've never seen an octopus in real life. I always imagine they're a little bit squishy. All right, crochet hook. Next, everything going forward, it's just decreases. You don't need your stitch marker anymore. It's all decreases going forward.
Sometimes you might have to use your finger and keep that, uh, let's keep that stuffing down. But you're just going to keep working in decreases, closing up the center underneath your octopus. And this works pretty fast. By the time you get to that point where you put the stuffing in and you're at this decrease round, you are very nearly done. Almost there. Once the stitches get this close, it does become a little bit difficult. If you want to stop and sew up the center, you definitely can do that. But we are just going to put in another decrease. Grab that yarn. And that little hole that we're working through is getting quite small. So that's where we're going to stop. Cut your yarn. What I'm going to do is go over to this stitch on the side. And everyone closes their amigurumi up differently, but I'm going to take that and I'm going to pull it through. That tightens everything up for me. But I'm not satisfied with that. I'm going to make another knot in it. So I'm going to go over one. I'm going to tie it up one more time with a little knot here. We tie it as tight as we can get it. And what do you do with this leftover thread? This is my advice. So way at the edge of your octopus, insert your hook. Watch out for your fluff. Pull that yarn through. Now you're going to turn your octopus a little bit. Watch out for that fluff. You're going to insert it at the edge again. And don't go through the same stitch, that same hole that your thread is coming through. Go through one next to it. Pull it through. And you're going to snip off the last piece. So this is who we are left with. That was a very fast octopus. This is definitely something that I hope you enjoy. This is a beginner friendly pattern and thanks for watching.